uh, just an absolutely ridiculous game in terms of just controlling the flow of game, whether it be good ice walls, good blizzards, and all the rest. I mean, he's been playing May on other maps, but it hasn't been quite to the same effect that he got here on the Nightmark and Lijiang. So I think the key to victory here coming out from really cool guys is that you simply need the maintain momentum. If they can win the first fight and go from there, it's actually much harder for sure for to do crazy things with May. But if C9 wins a team fight and walks in pushing, that gets very grim from there on out. Well, we'll see what's going to happen here. Very different compositions here, so I'm just a big fan of that already. As wonderful as it's going to be on any Winston as well. We used to see a lot more Winston on this map, especially uh, you know against teams that weren't running as Eniata, but now it's so difficult to run in and get damage done before dying. He tries to get the poke damage on, but Cloud9 really rotating onto this point, and already kind of winning this positional battle. The hook comes in. Can he stay alive? Nope, not for long. Wolf takes down Wonderfuls. Wonderfuls dives in, and we've been seeing this a lot here for better or for worse, some really cool guys, where Wonderfuls is going to be the first in and usually the first to die. That's a matter of if the rest of his team can do enough damage to make that sacrifice worthwhile, and clearly, in this first fight, the answer is no. No, they weren't. Wonderfuls died. Not much was done with it, and now C9, they get exactly what they want here, where Surefour is going to be able to sit here, look to control, be here on the night market, whether it be on top or on the bottom, both great Maywall spots, and it's going to be very difficult now for the really cool guys to get back onto this point. Well, they had a speed burst out there just to get out on that point, and that's a really nice pick off from Reaver on the short or early on, taking out that Mega Pin. So problematic for that is three kills. This should be RTG taking this point. So, we were talking about the entire Reaver v Surefour battle. Well, right there, Reaver caught Surefour with his pants down. It was set up by Wonderfuls. Wonderfuls leaped right in, and before Surefour could even blink, there's Reaver there at the immediate fall through and Soldier, which was dead on, immediately took him out. And Surefour actually, they don't want to use Mega to take the point. He's going to be coming out here on the crease. So we got ourselves a good fashion of Kree versus Soldier battle here in just a moment. Reaver Soldier, Short Four vs. Reaver, what else do you want here? I'm like that as a long time Overwatch fan, it should be great to watch. They joined the battle on the point, they're gonna have to transcend, gonna come down as well. That's if you want on the ground, this fight is blown up. Adam sending Reaver on a ride, the boop, taking him down. Five kills here from C9. And I'm not sure the boop is needed, but man didn't make it silent towards the very end. And for C9, they're gonna right away. No man here that hold on control, but still they have an edge in terms of progress. And well, Graviton's pretty good. Graviton's like a supercharged male, so we're male rather. So they're still gonna have a tough time getting an idea. Like the Reaver's on this right side, poking in, kind of letting them know where they are. They're speed boosting, jumping, Graviton's jumping. Graviton's in, only gets frisked on the very end. They're gonna sound very regardless. They try and keep things going. They get Kai Kai's result. Reaver right now just tearing things apart in the back line. No one on the problem is, Riv finds himself in a really good spot. No one's gonna help him, but the fight's breaking down multiple spots here. We're seeing that still very well win this. Both teams down two people. I like the Frisco, but it's not enough. Sure, for maybe the one to do damage to Pygo. Oh, Grego with a counter boop. We both know Grego and Adam are great supports, but both having some fun here, knocking each other off the side. Respectfully, it's not Fox Pygo to finish it off. Well, Sharkboard saved some lives and saved the fight there, actually, because Adam had gotten a hook damage. That was going to be a swing kill that they needed. However, he was able to kill Frisco before the damage to was able to come through on Adam, so we'll go to the brain of the sea. Adam's like, look at this stock that they have in Ultimate. See, I should win this fight. See, I should win this fight. 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 I should win Looks pretty easy for him to say for some heroic moments from Reaver on his Soldier 76. It was mostly Short Force McCree that ended up swinging a couple fights for them there, so they were able to take first stage, even without Short Force made their move on Control Center. Um, I expect Shader or Shadow rather to have a bigger game here. Uh, he's been stepping against you, and Genji is pretty decent on this point. They're going to switch Wonderful's off of the voice and Shadow now onto the Diva, so they're just going to roll tank heavy or not. Three times anime, one's going to be three and a half. That's going to be a challenge, Genji might be a nice little bit of a swap. As long as they think that Short Force is going to be free, but it's going to be a swap on Short Force. Flirting with the idea of going inside, I think he's still going to try to play on the McCree. Sorry, on the Genji, so he's going to be able to deal with that. They're going to be getting a lot of swaps back and forth here for both teams as they go to Rada. This first fight's going to be a little bit easier, Soldier otherwise, but they're going to be a little bit more fun. They're going to be getting a lot of swaps back and forth here for both teams as they go to Rada. This first fight's going to be a little bit easier, Soldier otherwise, but they're going I do think there's something a little bit missing in how Oko does fight this. You think it puts on the wonderful zone where he goes early and the team makes me sacrifice. It's supposed to be sacrifice. It feels like he's going to fight. No, it's going to be a fight. So, over 100 players are going to be able to fight for the 8th event. It's all going to be a fight. We're going to do such 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 a